eating out, especially eating out at Western restaurants, isn't as affordable as going to a local Chinese restaurant. But if you're craving Italian cuisine, learn to DIY at home. Okay, here we are. This is a very traditional Italian style pizza. The name Margherita. And this pizza is very, very traditional, famous, went around all the world. And in China you can find it, like in this restaurant, Italian restaurant. But the pizza main ingredients are just two. Tomato sauce and cheese. You know, in China, to find very good imported cheese or tomato sauce is not that easy. But if you have a thought of do DIY by yourself tomato sauce and cheese in your kitchen, yes, you can do that. And today I'm very happy to introduce you the chef of his restaurant, Mr. Rino, an Italian guy, who is going to explain, a, has, explain us how to make in your kitchen cheese and tomato sauce the Italian way. Originating in Neapolitan cuisine, pizza has become popular in many different parts of the world. Pizza is oven-baked, flat, disc-shaped bread, typically topped with a tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Italian cuisine is characterized by its extreme simplicity, with many dishes having only four to eight ingredients. Ingredients and dishes vary by region. Cheese and wine are a major part of the cuisine and its cheese and pizza are also well known all over the world. So, we want to produce in our kitchen, in your kitchen you can produce as well, this mozzarella, okay? Main ingredients, buffalo milk and this buffalo milk is Chinese buffalo, okay? But, the second most important ingredient is this rennet, okay? And this comes from Italy. Mozzarella cheese is a sliceable soft cheese originating from Italy. Traditional mozzarella is made from water buffalo milk and its flavor is highly prized. Water buffalo milk is three times more expensive than cow's milk. The process of making mozzarella is called pasta falata, which means the curds are heated in water or whey until they form strings, hence the term string cheese, and become elastic in texture. So, la nostra cagliata di bufala. After half an hour, we need to use the knife and cut. Fantastic. Can I eat it? What the so Ah, oh, <laughs> milk flavor. Okay. After half an hour, we need to take a knife and cut, cross cut all this solid milk in small pieces, and the final result is this. But this is still not the uh, the last step. Okay. So after four hours, finally is the time, is the final, is the final step, okay, in producing mozzarella. Right. The curds are stretched, kneaded until smooth, and then formed into round balls to make fresh mozzarella cheese. It is easy to make homemade mozzarella cheese, and it can be used in a variety of recipes including salads, meats, poultry, seafood, and vegetables. One of the easiest and most traditional way to have mozzarella, I think, is the easiest way with some Italian olive oil and some salt and pepper, correct? Like this. Ah, it's like being at home. Thank you very much for bringing Italy to Guangzhou. <laughs> Thank you. So we are done. Thanks. Mm. 
Wow. And this oil is very good. Wow. From Italy. Mm. This is tomato sauce. The tomato sauce that I had on my pizza before and one of the main ingredients of margherita pizza. This is exactly the same way that my mother at yeah. home prepared the tomato sauce for pizza. And probably, I'm very, very sorry that you can't, at home, you can't smell this very healthy flavor of tomato, of basil, of oil, of garlic. You can feel everything here, right here in your nose. Salami is a kind of Italian traditional cured sausage. It's become one of the main ingredients on sandwiches and pizza. And normally in Italy we have the cold cuts and bread all together before the beginning of the lunch of dinner like an appetizer and obviously with a glass of Italian wine to follow. Mmm, grazie. Prego. Salami should be cut thick. Any type of salami is great as an appetizer since it's bold enough to be served alone or with other ingredients. How long does it take to prepare one salami? Preparano in una giornata. C'è una giornata di lavoro. It takes one day of time to prepare a salami and you need to put it in the fridge and wait like till six months before eating it. Wow. Italian cooks rely chiefly on the quality of the ingredients rather than on elaborate preparation. Grazie Rino. Grazie a voi. No, grazie per aver portato a Guangzhou un pezzo d'Italia. Grazie mille. Grazie. It's really interesting because you know our city Guangzhou is becoming really more and more international and in the middle, in the midst, in this chaos of international Guangzhou, you can find a place like this one that's really, really Italian. You can have the same food that I can have at home. And so it's really, you know, it's really heartwarming because it's like being at home, even actually if I'm, yeah, I am like very, very far away from, from my mother and from my hometown. <laughs> And I think the only people with a big heart and big passion for fine food and for kitchen like you can here, in a very distant place, try, find the way to produce here the most authentic Italian, in this case, Italian food. So thank, thank you very much, much. and congratulations once again. And enjoy this Italian experience. Yeah.